This is the fourth video in a series of five videos on finance, and this one focuses on the present value of an annuity. For present value, the situation is fundamentally different from amount of an annuity. Consider Baby Girl My Storovich, where the payments were made, 18 payments were made, one on each birthday until she turned 18, and then we calculated how much she would have. For present value, the situation is fundamentally different. The present value of an annuity is the amount of money that must be invested now to generate payments, payments that will come afterwards. So money must be invested now, a lot of it, and then like a trickle, the payments are made and the payments will come later. Some situations where this happens. Well, consider an individual that wants the bank to pay him an allowance, like a retiree, for example, someone who's worked all of his life and saves up some money and says, okay, bank, I'm gonna give you a lot of money and then you're going to give me an allowance. Every month, I can rely on you sending me a check. So this is someone who might want to make use of the present value of an annuity. Any person who takes a loan from a bank, like a car loan, for example, a loan of any kind, is the present value of an annuity. So if a person buys a car, $35,000, Sometimes the, the finance company will give this person $35,000 to buy a car on the day that the loan is taken out. So that's a, the big amount of money. And then the car payments trickle in for the next five years out of that person's bank account. So here we've got the, the big amount comes first and then the payments come later. When a corporation like Rogers or Apple makes a yearly scholarship, so that a high school student can say, okay, I'm going to apply for the Rogers Scholarship. That corporation, Rogers, has made a large investment one time that generated those scholarships, which happened every year for, say, 10 years or whatever the setup was. Why would they do this? Well, there's tax breaks involved, plus Rogers and Apple would get positive uh, community image from from doing such things. That's probably the reason that they do it. Let's take an example. Calculate how much money you will have to invest so that the bank will pay you an annuity of $2,000 per year for four years, starting one year from now. If money earns interest at 6% compounded annually. So we want to have the bank pay us $2,000 each year for four years. Well, that would be a total of $8,000. So I wonder if we would have to invest more or less than $8,000. Let's calculate. Let's draw a timeline. So unlike before, where I said nothing happens now, something does happen now. All the money is invested now so that that will generate one, two, three, four payments in the future. To generate the first payment, we calculate the present value of just that payment. And we're going to use this formula. The present value at compound interest is the amount times 1 plus i to the negative n. And you'll see that the amount after time has passed is going to be $2,000 one year from now times 1.06, which is 1 plus i, to the negative, in this case, 1. So the calculator tells us, this, tells us that this is $1,886.79. And we have to do this four times. Going again to generate the second payment, we'll do it again. We'll use this present value of compound interest formula. 2,000 times 1.06 to the negative 2 now because two interest periods will have gone by to generate the second one. Calculator tells us $1,779.99. And similarly for the third one. 
n is now 3, and we get that number, and similarly for the fourth one. 2,000 times 1.06 to the negative 4 on a calculator is $1,584.19. Draw a line, and this is how much money one has to invest now to generate these four payments of $2,000 each. You'll notice it's quite a bit less than $8,000. And the reason is because the, you have to wait. You have to wait over time to get this money. So the present value of the, the four payments is $6,930.21. Naturally, there's a formula for this. Present value of an annuity formula. And it looks like this. It looks a lot like the amount formula, but you'll notice the contents of the brackets has been turned around. That one said 1 plus i to the n minus 1. This says 1 minus 1 plus i to the negative n. So it's the inside part here got turned around. Just as the order of the payments versus the investment got turned around. And so for the, our previous example, the four payments of $2,000. R stands for regular payment. I stands for interest rate per compound period. N stands for the number of payments that are made over the annuity. Plug them into the formula, and now you must take your calculator and confirm that, yes, the present value is $6,930.21 according to the formula. Let's do another example. Find the present value of an annuity of 12 quarterly payments of $5,000 if money earns 8% compounded quarterly. So, solution, let's illustrate this with a timeline. Now, there's 12 payments, which is, well, it would be very inconvenient to show all 12 payments on a timeline. That's why we do it this way. This is now... When all the when the, all the investment happens, and then time starts to pass, and then the first payment is made, and so we're doing the same calculation that we did before using the present value of compound interest formula to find out that it's a times one plus i to the negative n, and we do this to, just for showing it purposes. I've shown three here, the first and the last two. What we'll need to do is use the formula to actually calculate all 12, because it's very tedious to calculate this 12 times. So now using the formula, the regular amount, let's go back, the regular amount was $5,000, and there's 12 of them. So we can calculate that. The regular amount is 5,000, and there's 12 of them, and the I value would be 0 0.02. Reason being that it's 8% compounded quarterly, so we'll take 8% 0 0.08 and divide by 4. That's where we're getting this 0 0.02. Plug them all in. Do the math on a calculator. Don't take my word for it. And we find out that the present value is $52,876.71, which must be invested now. If you invested $52,876.71 under these conditions, that would generate 12 payments of $5,000 each, which, by the way, is $60,000. But, again, present value is always less. Because over time, the $52,000 the 52, matures. A final example. If $50,000 is invested into an account that pays 6% compounded monthly, how much can be drawn out each month for 10 years? So suppose you saved up $50,000 and decided, hmm, I think I'll just sit on a beach for 10 years and enjoy myself. I'm going to use this $50,000 and it's going to pay me an allowance. So you go down to the bank, 
and you make the investment. And the question is, how much per month could you enjoy for 10 years on $50,000? That's what this example is all about. Well, we just have to do the math. There's our formula. And the regular amount to be drawn out is a question mark. However, I is not a question mark, nor is N. The present value is the $50,000. Present value is the amount of money that must be invested now. So right now, you're investing $50,000. N is 120 payments. Where are we getting 120? It's 10 years, and it's every month for 10 years. The I value, 0 0.06 divided by 12, because it's 6% compounded monthly, hence 0 0.06 divided by 12 is this, according to the calculator. Plug them into the formula. Now we have to do some math to find out R. And to do that, we take this denominator and move it over and up, and we take this entire bracketed factor the whole thing, just copy it over to the left side and underneath. And it looks like this. Then we need to take our calculator and add this. Now the calculator use is getting more complex. So this might take some practice, and calculators are different. So do it yourself and find out that the, the amount of money that can be drawn out every month for 10 years is $555.10.